that. So our first three speakers will be from the Coalition to Repeal the Eighth Amendment, the National Women's Council and the Abortion Rights Campaign. We're going to be joining forces. Thank <laughs> you. 
achieved to root out of our constitution that dreadful impediment, obstacle, roadblock to the freedom, the self right to self-determination, bodily integrity, our right as women to do with our lives and our bodies as we decide. Not we've all been doing together for so long. We know that the people of Ireland want this too. They want, they tell us, on the doorsteps, on the streets. We want to do right by women, they say. We want women to be safe. We want women to be healthy. We want women to be well. We want women to feel respected and to be respected and to take our full place as members of the community, of this society, as citizens. And that is what we're fighting for with repeal of the Eighth Amendment, because that is the fundamental block to women's freedom in this country today. And I know my three minutes are well up, and I'm going to get a wrap now. But what I want to say to you is that we are absolutely Rearing to go and we must be out there on the streets. It's going to be tough. It will be tough, but we can definitely do it. Why? Because it matters so much. Because we're doing this for the women and the girls of Ireland. I'm doing it for all those who come after me. Yes, my daughter. Yes, my granddaughter. But all of you and all of your daughters and granddaughters too. But I'm doing it for the men of Ireland as well. Because we share, we share this country. We share this space. And one way and another, we love one another. And we want to do right by each other. So I'm doing it for all of you and for all of Ireland to make it into a better, safer, more decent, kinder, kinder place than it was when I was growing up as a girl. I think you're wonderful. Repeal the very little introduction and that is Orla O'Connor who is director of the National Women's Council who have played an important and inspiring lead in the campaign to repeal the Eighth Amendment. Orla herself is a powerful and leading advocate for women's rights in this country so please give her a huge welcome Orla O'Connor.
<laughs> we are sisters, we're aunts, we're grandmothers, we're daughters. And we know about care. We know how to care for each other, for our families, and to make these really serious decisions. And we are the people who have improved access to reproductive health care, who have campaigned for contraception, for securing maternity rights, for advocating for child care, and for ensuring proper health care services for women. We know, you all know, we know that the Eighth Amendment doesn't work for women, for families, and for medical practitioners. We know that the majority of people in Ireland recognise the need for change. And it's our job to make it clear that there can be no change until the Eighth Amendment is removed. And this is the first step that we will take on the 25th of May. We will need to take this campaign from the streets into homes, having the conversations in the smallest of places with the smallest groups of people. We will need to have everyone in this country engaged in this conversation, and it won't be easy, and we know that, but we will do it. Yeah. And we are campaigning to repeal the eighth, but we're also campaigning for so much more than that. And that's the vision that unites us here today. It's a vision of an Ireland where all women and girls can have access to affordable healthcare options. It's an Ireland where no woman will be forced to travel abroad again or access abortion pills in secrecy. It's a, we want it to be a country, and it will be a country, where women who are pregnant as a result of rape can access healthcare with dignity and in privacy. than ever. 
life and meet you. Let's embrace an Ireland that is compassionate and courageous. Let's face our reality and bring health care home. We have our referendum. Now it's time to win it. Let's repeal the 8th Amendment.